again. No! I watch the rest of this Force Awakens, and I'm thinking maybe this is a, I don't know, not an act of God, but something that's causing it to keep stopping and delaying. Well, last night we tried to do a commentary, uh, and it didn't work at all. No, In fact, I'm just going to take out my earphones because I don't even need to listen to it. I have the subtitles on. Uh, but we had terrible troubles and Sophie was being an annoying bitch, so and we had to really redo it today. And saying that, but I'll give him an excuse. He was crabby and tired. And, uh, and we just get frustrated because, I mean, that late you would think that the internet would wouldn't be doing that yeah i mean n nobody else was on probably like people well, were probably already in bed um, and uh you know it just kept pausing over and over again and today you know we were trying to just start the movie and it was pausing so really really weird so, so we're uh, back to uh where where we are in the movie is that the for the force? The bad guys have come and they've taken that Ray girl. Yeah, thank God. Who is uh, Willy take her, Wonka? Take her uh, away and cut her head off or something like get, get get her out of here. Nobody wants it's her. Wonka's Wonka girl, Star Wars Wonka girl. Yeah, she's she's not a Wonka girl. She's a wanker. That's what the British people would call her. Oh, Marco! What? Don't do They'd that. say she's a fucking wanker. That. That's what they would say. She's a fucking <laughs> wanker. <coughs> but Mark and I are look just a little bit off of each other. This wanker, Mary Sue, British accent. Okay, stop now. Fail. So right off the bat here, you know, I what I was trying to say last night before Safi rudely interrupted me and we stopped the commentary is that basically, and I don't know if Safi has noticed this. But basically, all Finn does the entire movie is, like, look around confused and, and like, run after people. Yeah, like, that's that's, true. that's, that's literally true. all he fucking does the entire movie is, like, ooh, I'm looking around. I'm very concerned. Ooh, ooh, look, there's a Star Wars planet. And then he, like, runs after someone and it's like, Ray! <laughs> That's all he does the entire movie. Well, yeah, I, I do like BB-8. I do like the robot. Oh, I forgot yeah. to say I'm gonna that. Write, I'm going to write that down because I just found out last night what the robot's name was. I liked the robot a lot, and I liked when it did the thumbs up with the lighter thing. That yeah. was like one of the few things that I liked about the movie. And uh, I wouldn't say he's better than R2-D2, but I do like, uh, and that was one of the guys who was at the convention, Safi. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, at least he's a Star Wars person. At the Star Trek uh, convention we went to. But uh, I do like the way that the robot rolls around better. Like, he is, he is much more pleasing in terms of aesthetic. Like, the way that he can move around. And just roll around like that. Whereas R two D two is kind of clunky. Well, he's like clunky and heavy. He, but he's a predecessor to the circle one. Well, I know, but I'm saying like. Well, it kind of makes uh, sense if you're talking about a robot that evolves and gets better and more efficient. But Safi. That makes sense. So Star Wars takes place in a galaxy far, far away. Star Trek. So what? No, Star Wars. <laughs> It takes place in, like, the, the future future, so, like, that's not an excuse. But as we were saying yesterday, uh, the big message of this movie, because there's the story that happened before this movie that we don't even know or care about, but basically the story is that Han Solo and Princess Leia were together romantically, and they had this villainous son... And it's basically like a, a typical modern-day Disney message of if a man and a woman get together and they have a child, it's evil and terrible, and uh, women should just be alone, they should just be independent, and men should be independent because men are terrible, 
and they don't deserve to be with women. That's basically the message of this movie trilogy right here. Because all of the problems started from Han Solo and Princess Leia being together and having a baby. Even though they were meant for each other, even though they're perfect for each other, the message of the movie is men bad and women good. And Safi, you know what they did too? No. These fucking bitches who ruined Star Wars, they made these t-shirts that they wear that say, that say the force is female. <laughs> so what do you think of that, Soppy? That's pretty retarded, Just isn't it? Like, what does that mean? Really like, the dumb. force is a fucking force. It doesn't have a gender. No, it doesn't. What do you think of that, Safi? That's the people who made the Star Wars. Now, are you, are you going to admit there's an agenda now? After hearing that? Can you admit it? I don't know. I just, it's so dumb. Really? It just doesn't work. But can you admit there's an agenda going on? But why and who? Figure it out. Huh? Figure it out. Have they talked about the stupid new Death Star yet? I don't even know. I don't know. I'm a little bit ahead of you. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's the part where uh, Mary Sue Mary Sue is able to resist uh, mind powers from the ultimate villain of the movie, and he takes his mask off so that he can no longer be an intimidating villain. Why is he mad at his parents and turned evil? Because, he's a, something? because he's a fucking faggoty fuck. Uh, you know, that we don't find that story. There's no story. There's basically no There's explanation. There's nothing in between. No. Before now. I just don't no. get it. I don't know. Do they go? Is do they do a? Um, they do show a flashback in flashback. next movie of like something that uh, Luke wanted to do or something, but I don't want to get to that yet. Well, that but shouldn't have uh, anything to do with it. Basically, as I said, the message is because a man and a woman got together that bad things happened. That's basically the message of the movie. Uh, and so, this is the part where Mary Sue is able to resist the mind powers as well as she is able to magically mind control a random stormtrooper guard, uh, which makes no sense at all. She doesn't have any training or any powers, and it's basically just because she's a woman, she's able to do that. It's fucking sickening. It's retarded. It's well, bizarre. I don't it. It's disgusting. She must it's have gross. some power she doesn't know about. She so doesn't. She doesn't know about, it or she doesn't have it. She doesn't have it. You've seen the other two movies. No, but I know that there's no explanation at all mm. for why that is. Because not everybody has this power. No, oh, she she's the special one because she's Mary Sue. No, she's Wonka girl. She's a wanker. Are you sure she's not related to that guy? No, Safi, she's not. But you seem so much alike. He actually has talent. She doesn't. Yeah, he's really good. So, Safi, what do you think about this scene? Talk Because you, you had a really, really negative reaction to it yesterday. You were like, what? What is going on? I didn't. I I guess I should have known this, but since I'd never seen this movie before, it, it would have been something I've read or heard. But Zylo. Zylo. Ky, Kylo. Zylo. Whatever. Who's Zylo? Yeah. Han Solo and Princess Leia's son. He doesn't even look like them at all. No, not at all. <laughs> Like, they couldn't even cast someone who looks like their fucking parents. <laughs> uh, another thing is that I was saying that this movie created a whole generation of Karens. Because, like, in all those Karen videos, before the Karen says, let me speak to your manager, she always tries to just give a stare off. Like, she's trying to, you know, force her will upon people without having to complain or say anything. So this movie basically taught women how to be Karens. Because this is what they all do. Before they start saying, Let me speak to your manager! They all just stare at you like they are like they expect you to fall in line. Right, Safi? Yeah. 
well, isn't that what Karens do? They're emphasizing that she's got she a special power, and what you're talking about are stupid broads. So. Well, but the stupid broads think that they have special powers because they're retarded. No, they think they're entitled. That's what they think. So does this character. When has this character ever acted like a decent human being? You're talking about Star Wars Baltimore? No. The wanker girl. Uh, no, she's Wonka. No, yeah. she's a wanker. No, I'm not going to say that. Why? Because I don't know what that means. It's a British term for an idiot. I don't know if this means that. Yes, it does, Sophie. Now, there's this part... You're not, you're not, yeah. And this was also like something of where like, oh, who is this Voldemort guy? Basically, J.J. Abrams was like, oh, who knows? That's another problem with this trilogy is that instead of planning things out and knowing what was going to happen, they just let each director do what they wanted to do. What so, each director? So like when they made this movie, they didn't have any idea of who that Voldemort character was or what was up with him. Well, what was so, this made? 2015. So then the next guy, he got to do whatever he wanted to do with the character, and then the next one after that as well. So there was no planning. There was no, like, oh, we have uh, this plan, this plan for this character. It was none of that. It's just, oh, you can do whatever you want to do. You notice that he puts on his mask didn't he put it on? But what? But why was? What, did he have it on while he was talking to Star Wars Voldemort? I can't remember. I don't and think why so. Why would he do that? Well, he comes back. He's wearing it again. Yeah. Why? I don't know. What's the significance of that? I don't know. Why well, have it on now? Look. It's not even a good-looking mask. I'm a little bit ahead of you. And now he throws another temper tantrum again. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying, too. Like, Who would be intimidated by a villain who throws temper tantrums? Wouldn't it be a lot scarier if the villain didn't have any reaction and it was like he's so cold and calculating and competent that he's like, okay... That happened. Time to uh, move on. That would be so much scarier. Okay, now we're talking about this harnessing the sun weapon, right? They get the power from the sun. How do they do it? They want to know. And then, what's his name? Finn says, Look, well, there's I a guy. Know. You see that? Look. Oh. He have lines, too. Yes. So the plot of this movie, the genius plot that was like so amazing is that they've created a new Death Star and here's the twist, Sophie. It's bigger than the original Death Star. <gasps> oh! oh my God, that's such great writing. I'm so glad that Disney got the rights to Star Wars. I thought that the Death Star was eliminated in the... No, but now they made a new one and it's even uh, bigger. And more well, powerful. That makes sense. What? They're evolving. What? They have to make things different and more. Safi, if, if the Death Star was defeated, why would they make a new Death Star? Why wouldn't they make something else? Because they want ultimate power over the world. Oh my god, Safi. You're a Not fucking way, moron. Over the universe. Really, Safi? That's now, your excuse for bad guy, writing? This guy with the big eye, the lizard guy, has a different voice than before. Really? Mm-hmm. It has to be a different actor. He I think a real it, older, gruffer voice. Isn't his name Admiral Akbar? I think. Yeah, he has a military title. I have to look up. Look, there he is again. That guy. You mean Poe? No, the other guy at the convention. Oh. So yeah, this movie sucks. Who, who plays this? Who's this guy that plays, who plays Poe? This is another thing, is that, like, the movie is now almost over, basically, 
And I think that one of the biggest problems with any J.J. Abrams movie is that the whole movie you're just wondering what is going on here, what is the story, what is the plot, and then you find out and it's just like a big letdown and a disappointment because really J.J. Abrams comes up with all these ideas with no idea of what to do with them. And that's basically his entire thing. And uh, But then you have the agendas too and it just it turns the movie into an ultimate disaster. Okay, now... Uh, the bad guy. There was no reason for Han Solo to not be with Princess Leia at all. The, that bad guy just said she's beginning to test her powers, and so we have to get her before they get stronger. It would have been so much more impactful if Princess Leia and Han Solo were still together, and they were always trying to find their son and turn him back to the good side. Like, that would have been so much more impactful emotionally. But instead, it's like, no, he's a loser, and she's a strong, independent woman. She doesn't have any issues, because she's strong and independent. Uh, It's a typical, like, modern trope. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense in this movie. You've got to have friends, and you have to have help. What do you mean? There's no strong, independent anybody. Yeah, there is. That's stupid Mary Sue. She can't. She can't do it alone. Real, really, Safi? You want to say that? <laughs> oh, really, Safi? I've seen the movie. Uh... <laughs> I mean, this movie's gotten like worse over the years too. It's gotten so much worse because, like, you know what comes after it. The comedy is terrible. The comedy is cringeworthy, too. The only funny thing is that people actually think this is a good movie. That's the only good comedy. Oh. Ben's just admitting that he doesn't know how to dismantle the shield. He just wanted to get Ray. And Han Solo said, what people are counting on us. What the hell? He says, oh, we'll figure it out. Oh, wait for the the, the infamous line. Probably the most popular line of the movie. That's not how the force works. <laughs> I, 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 I think that is a good one, actually. Well, since Zylo Ren somehow has... Safi, who the fuck is Zylo Ren? Whatever his name is, Kylo Ren. Then he knows that uh, his father's on board the ship. In fact, he knows everybody. Okay, Safi, here is Captain Phasma. Oh, is that Pe- what that is? I people, just saw mine a little bit ahead of you. People call her one of the greatest movie villains of all time. And look what happens to her. Watch this. This trash character. All she was made for was so that little girls could cosplay as her. Because it's an easy cosplay. Oh, look! It's a stormtrooper, but it's chrome instead. Ooh, isn't that creative? Oh my god, aren't you just glad that Disney got the rights to Star Wars? Marco, be quiet. Why? Be this so is a commentary, sh- Safi. This is a commentary. You don't have to be so loud. Oh, you be loud then. Come on. They don't they complain don't, about the movie. Loud, hurting my foot. Call the movie bad. We're not going to have a lot of time to find Ray. Although we're trying to find... Who gives a fuck about Ray? Well, I mean, they were supposed to... Who the fuck would want to find a girl named Ray? Ew! Marco, don't do that. Ew! So anyway, they're supposed to be dismantling this shield when he admittedly says that no, they can't. And and then he admits that he just want, he doesn't know how to dismantle it. That he uh, wants to just help Ray... 
and then he's complaining that they're going to the shield to figure it out, and he he's and he doesn't want he wants to find Ray. Guess who's? Oh, my Uh-oh. movie paused. Oh, that's okay. I'm a little ahead. Of oh you. shit! Oh, no, maybe that's not good. But Safi, guess who's playing the Chrome Stormtrooper bitch, the uh, Captain Phasma wasted character? Guess who's playing her? I have no idea. Gwendolyn Christie. I don't know who that is. Oh! well, she's a really good actress, and she's totally wasted with this character. Uh, you can't see her face. No, you never get to see her face, but uh, they really wasted her. I mean, that was a big disappointment because, like, they hyped her up so much they made you think, oh, my God, Captain Phasma is going to be this really scary villain. And it's like, oh, she's just a complete waste of space idiot and she gets thrown in the garbage in a couple of minutes (laughs) as soon as this movie unpauses. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Safi. What would your analysis be of the movie? I don't know. What's your analysis? Oh, here we go. What do we do with her? Let's put her in the garbage. See, Safi, they put her in the garbage. This villainous character, this... All, all powerful villainous character. Well, how does he know her? It's just because he was a stormtrooper before. That's how he knows her. Yeah. Mm. That's so weak. It's so lame. It's so fucking pathetic. It's not even funny. Well, the the, the th- people who wrote this movie should never be allowed to write anything again. They shouldn't even be allowed to write short films that they film in their backyard with their stupid friends. These fucking writers suck. And now we're just going to copy A New Hope and do the same old thing with the Death Star of the the people and the fighters uh, shooting at the Death Star or whatever. Here's, like, we've seen, right we've seen all this before. Oh, the movie paused again. Shit, Safi! Hitler. Hitler wannabe. Safi, he's a redhead. How could he be Hitler? Hitler was not a ginger. Well, he's trying to be, though. He's a ginger Hitler. <laughs> Sophie, why aren't you saying anything? Well, I'm just. Uh, this is a commentary. Well, this I don't, isn't. I'm trying to figure out where I am in regards to you. Yeah. No, we got some other. Now we got a monkey guy, who's you're one a, of the. You're uh, a monkey guy. Working at the controls of the. Uh, I don't know the headquarters of the the uh, the force. Now we have. I have. Uh, Han Solo and uh, Ray, because they fed up with Ray now. Han Solo, uh, Finn, and Ray. And what are they doing? They're aboard a ship or they're on an elevator? Because I thought they were supposed to dismantle this uh, this uh, heat ray that's destroying planets. Why would we care about this thing that's destroying planets when we don't even know what they're destroying? Have we seen this before? Yeah, they did this in A New Hope. They're just copying A New Hope. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I've seen this before. They're just copying. They're not creative. They don't know what to do. They're fucking retarded. If they would have improved the size of the Death Star, they would have also changed up the uh, weapon. Oh, no. It's just the same thing as it was before, but bigger. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Which doesn't matter. It didn't matter whether it was bigger. It's just it like with kill it's, any more people. It just killed the same it's, amount of it's, people. It's just like with McDonald's. Instead of making like a new menu item that could be really tasty, let's Uh-oh. just put two Big Macs on top of each other yeah, and call gross. it a Super Big Mac. That's gross. Like that's yeah. basic. This movie is basically the McDonald's of Star Wars. He's asking me about the steak. 
I want a big steak. He wants to know a steak that you can share with others or just for him. Or for, for you. I, I don't know. Get two then. I'm a man. I don't need any. I'm a man. I need my steak. Men eat steak. I don't want to have quiche, but we can always have quiche. Men eat big steak. Women eat okay, steak I'm too. On the part. See, but you? Safi, you really what's your favorite kind of steak, Safi? Because typically it's like you always get New York strip, which is like know. the I worst like a one. Steak that doesn't have a ton of fat in it. Well, New York steak is fatty. Well, and I <coughs> don't necessarily want a big thick steak either. I don't eat all that beef, but a few pieces are fine. I like a ribeye bone in. Uh oh. Okay, I have Kylo and Dad uh, meeting up. And then, yep. Why is he calling him Han Solo when that he, that's his father? Does he not know it's his father? <coughs> Sam, I'm ahead of you. A little bit, because I can see that part racing. You came back for me? <laughs> yeah, and it's like now, you think like, oh, are they going to get into a romance? No. 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 I bet not. They don't have any chemistry. Uh, They're just friends. I mean, friend chemistry. You know, you know that you know that you know that Disney wouldn't promote an interracial romance. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, and I'm not uh, going to say that. And I don't Disney think would should Disney either. would never do that. Well, I don't believe uh, it. They wouldn't. Oh, Kylo took off his mask for his dad. Because then they couldn't put the movie in China, because China wouldn't like that. So oh. they, they, they're not able to do stuff like that, because they're fucking pussy-ass bitches. But it's good anyway. I mean, they don't belong together at all. Uh-oh. Uh, Who did Kylo uh, destroy? Here's what I think should have happened. I think Finn should have gotten crushed in the garbage too. I think that <laughs> Ma- I think that Mary Sue should get her head chopped off, and I think that Poe should get like obliterated uh, in a stupid ship or something. Because then maybe we can watch a Star Wars movie with the characters that we actually like, which are uh, Han Solo, Luke, and Princess Leia. Like, nobody wants to see these stupid characters. Like, these fucking characters suck. They're not likable. But, 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 but the problem is, well, then they have to get ones that are because uh, Carrie Fisher's dead. They can't uh, use her. But, Safi, I'm saying back in 2015 when they made this stupid ass movie. Oh. Okay, and Hans and, uh, what's his name? Um,. Han Solo is old. He's so not what? I mean, this isn't Twin Peaks. So and what? The char- character. We could have gotten a trilogy where all the three original characters are the stars of the movie. Well, Admit that's it, Safi. That's true. And then, and well, after that, that, get different characters. Right? They could have done that. I don't understand. They're not. Like, well, you're not on that part yet, though. I just don't understand. Now, Kylo and Han Solo are... (coughs) talking to each other. And... I'm glad the movie's almost over, though. Like, I I thought this movie was never going to end. I thought we were never going to get to finish the movie. (laughs) Well, interesting. I mean, I'm so shocked, too, last night, why it was so bad. Oh no, I see. Oh no. This is where everybody was shocked. Oh god. Yeah, isn't it great that they brought back Han Solo so that they could kill him in the most disrespectful way possible? And that they could kill him before he could get to share the screen with Luke Skywalker again? Isn't that just great? Isn't that what all the fans wanted? Oh my god, I'm so glad that Disney got the rights to Star Wars. So that they could kill off a beloved male character. Oh, God. Well, did he want to go? I mean, in real life. Did he not want to be uh, in the movie series anymore? Yeah, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean that he couldn't share the screen with Luke. And that doesn't mean that they had to kill him off. 
And that doesn't mean that they had to kill him off in this type of way. Right? Really. What do you think of that, I Safi? Thought, I thought he was going to get killed in the fighting. Isn't this disgraceful? Huh? Safi? What? Isn't this disgraceful? Uh, what they I did? I remember people were really mad. What do you think? Give me your reaction. Huh, it's, it's horrible. What else? Safi? What? What else? I'm just, I'm just shocked that they would have him kill his own father. Yeah. Stupid. That isn't what happened to the other two. Right? Luke Skywalker and, um... The other two? Yeah! Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Safi, there's three. Well, Luke Skywalker didn't try to kill off Darth Vader, did he? Well, they fought, but then they he... They did fight, but, but... But then Darth Vader turned good, and then I think Darth Vader sacrificed himself or something. I, I can't remember. I remember either. But I don't, th- I don't think he... Cause I, only, I don't remember him killing his father. I only time. watched Star Wars as a kid, and, uh, and then I just kind of got turned off of it. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll get back into Star Wars again. And then I watched this movie, and I was like, oh, never mind. I, I don't want to think about Star <laughs> Wars anymore. Snoke is using you for your power, just like the Emperor is using Darth Vader. Wow, this is such a creative story. I'm so glad that Disney got the rights to Star Wars. That's weird. So that I've lost sound. They could just copy Star Wars and put it on screen as their own movie. I've lost sound. And, uh... Uh-oh. Safi, do you think that Kylo Ren would make a good love interest? Uh, no. <laughs> He's sick. Oh, okay. Well, He's sick in the head. Oh, we got surprises for you. <laughs> See, right now, what I have is, uh, it's, it's happened after what you're watching. And they're in the forest somehow. I don't know how they got there. And uh, Kylo and uh, Finn are fighting because, oh, now stop. Oh, it started. Because uh, Kylo just hurt Ray. I don't know if he killed her. Oh, no, he didn't kill her because she's he knocked her out somehow. I really don't even like watching this, honestly. Like, I don't like having to watch this. Uh-oh, it's so lost their... it's so disgraceful what they did to this character. Oh. And it's so horrible what they did. Like... This was the part of the movie where I was so pissed off that I wanted to leave the theater. Oh, really? But you weren't the only one. See, I, I remember that. I remember when people talked about that, they were really pissed off. People who did this should be put in jail. No, now I'm on the part where Finn got knocked out, Ray woke back up because she was kind of knocked out. And, and a fin, Finn's, uh, what do you call it, a lightsaber got taken, got knocked out of his hand. And uh, so Kylo was trying to get it, you know, to come to him, like his magical powers. But she managed to get it to come to her. I don't know. I think that Kylo would make a great love interest for Rey. <laughs> right, Safi? Well, you said this is first of three. <laughs> well, obviously, that's not going to happen. You would have said something. <laughs> <coughs> and I can't imagine Kylo is going to feel bad for killing his own father. He could get Ray pregnant. Oh, wouldn't God. that be fun? Wouldn't that be such a great thing? To have, t- wouldn't, wouldn't that be such a great thing to teach young girls? Called? But how many, since that first three of this series, how many more have come out? Have, haven't there been more movies that have come out since then? Well, all there is for this is just 
these three movies, but then there's other stupid movies that no one cares about. Well, I thought and that's what, yeah. I thought stupid that's what you TV said. shows. Oh, TV shows, but what about movies? Have there really oh, been any movies? Oh, my God, since these, Sophie. Since these three? Oh, God. I don't know why you're going, oh, God. How would I know? I because have, because I, I, I just said, and you weren't listening. You said as TV usual. shows. No. <coughs> no. Did I already say that I thought that people who like this movie shouldn't be allowed to vote? Because <laughs> I'd just like to reiterate that That's again. That's everything to do with I don't it. think that people who like Kyle this... Kyle looks crazy. I don't think people who like this movie should be allowed to vote. He's, look at his face. He's crazy. He's not scary at all. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's, <laughs> he's just like a, desperate. He's like a girly boy. He's got a desperate face. And so after seeing this movie, I was like, okay, Snoke has got to be the ultimate villain because you can't make this whiny little wimpy bitch the main villain. He's just not a good villain at all. <coughs> uh and then, of course, you guys know what happens. I don't. I I haven't seen it yet. You know, I'm actually kind of excited just to experience it, to be able to be angry, uh, actually seeing it instead of watching other people do videos about it. Now she's fighting him. Uh, and here we fight? go. Okay, we're just kind of. I'm a little ahead of you. Finn is magically able to fight with the lightsaber after having no training at all. Uh, he's magically able to go up against this main villain of the movie. It's just so laughable and retarded. It's not even funny. He just said, I can show you the ways of the Force. Yeah. This is so embarrassing. Is he just trying to hypnotize her? This whole... And, and that's another thing, too. <laughs> Disney... Disney does not know how to do lightsaber fights at all. Because there well, is... All they had to do is look at previous movies. Too. Well, they, they don't know what to do because there's not a single... <laughs> there's not a single lightsaber fight in this entire trilogy that's any good at all. Not a single damn one. They do not know how to do the lightsaber battles. And then you have this retarded part where Rey is magically able to catch the lightsaber... Like, it's meant for her. I know. It's so fucking gay. Well, he said that, though. He knew that about her. He said, remember, remember he said, she's she's learning about her powers, and she's only going to get stronger. That's why we got to hurry up and get her. Yeah, it's really, really bad. It's such a terrible lesson for young girls. Oh, you have all this infinite power. You don't have to do any training like well, Luke Skywalker had to do. Luke Skywalker... He had to go through shit for three entire movies, and he didn't even defeat Darth Vader. Darth Vader defeated himself. But, like, then you have this bitch, Rey, and she can just do anything and everything, even though she never had any training. She doesn't know what to do. She just has all this infinite power. Uh, it's, it's a terrible lesson to teach young girls. It's basically girl power, the Star Wars movie. Uh... It's it's horrible. And the bad ship was losing power rapidly somehow. I think your commentary is losing power. No, it's just that you're... What? You're ahead of me. I mean, I'm ahead of you. What? Oh, well, <coughs> now my movie's paused again, too. We're yeah. showing Star Wars Baltimore again. <sighs> I think you're going to finish the movie before me. I think I am, too. It's like a race. And it's funny because it's like all the criticisms, it's like every criticism, they buffer the movie or something. You mean every time it gets bad? It's like they know that I'm watching. And see, this is another thing, like, this movie, this is, pro this is the only commentary where this has ever happened, this level of... Uh, technical difficulty which just shows you that this movie is terrible all Disney Star Wars is terrible uh, 
And Kylo Ren must get saved because isn't he in the, the next two? Or at least the next one? Yeah, they're destroying the Death Star this easily. Uh huh. It's supposed to be new and improved. Yep. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, <laughs> I think they left out some challenging difficulty. Isn't Luke going to be in this movie at all? I mean, he's alive and well. And who, who would want to watch a Star Wars movie with Luke Skywalker? Uh, well, who cares all... about that? Let's just watch the woman. The stupid woman. We don't want to give boys a role model to look up to and a hero. We only want to do that for girls. Because that's Disney. That's what Disney's become. What is Ray really their daughter or something? In order to be a role model for boys nowadays at Disney, what you have to do is hook up with one of their ugly ass princesses, like that ugly ass tokenized Snow White bitch that they got. That's the only way you're allowed to be a role model for boys. I saw that Snow White was coming in. I can't wait to see the elves. Oh, well, instead of getting real uh, dwarf actors to play them, they uh, Peter Dinklage complained that uh, compl- complained about the movie. So Disney decided it would be much better if they would just do CGI dwarves Aww. instead and not give real dwarf actors the opportunity. Why? Oh, because it's bad and it's stereotyping. Aww. And it's old fashioned and so That's we, not true. we have to have CGI dwarfs that look like caricatures instead. Giving them work but they're shorter than usual, so that gives them work. Oh no, that they shouldn't be allowed to have those roles. Because it's 2024. They're called dwarfs. That's the that's the move. That's the story. Oh no, that shouldn't be allowed to be made no. because that's old fashioned. <coughs> this movie sucks so fucking badly. What happened to the? Uh little thing that the droid had the, the, the what is he called BB-8 the little thing that they were oh now they're just now getting it <laughs> the little thing yeah. piece that yeah. he had in his yeah. hidden uh-huh. there it is it was actually a pencil piece I don't understand R2-D2 had to help BB-8 to get to remove the part? Yeah. <laughs> God. Why? It's so fucking gay. <laughs> After this movie's over, I want us to do, or I want you to do a review, and we'll both give our food ratings. Now? Now? After the movie's over. Because I think people already know what my opinion of the movie is. But we need your, like, succinct summary of what you think. My movie's paused again, too. Safi gets to finish it before me. How many years after this movie uh, aired did Carrie Fisher die? I don't know. Three... I believe. I can't remember. It seemed like it was pretty soon thereafter. Three or four. (coughs) So Wampa Girl's going to take Hans's place? Drive the Millennium Falcon with a hairy guy? (laughs) While everybody else is on the ground waving goodbye? And of course, I'm just stuck at looking at Xylophone's face. <laughs> <laughs> He's just... It's like, this is such a terrible villain. Like, who thought this is, this was a good villain? This is like the villain that, like, Anakin Skywalker, that a lot of people said that he was, but he was a lot better. Like, uh... 
in the prequels. Like when they called him an emo biatch character, this this guy is the emo character. Emo? How do you spell that? I M O. Oh, it paused again. Well, I'm at the end almost. <laughs> I guess I guess while Safi's doing her review, I'm gonna get to finish the movie. Uh, even though I don't care. I mean, I I could already probably just say like the last criticism, I guess, and then the last thing to or I guess not the last thing, but the last criticism would be uh when they all get back to the the rebellion place, uh, Princess Leia chooses to hug Mary Sue instead of hugging Chewbacca, which is just another sign of disrespect from Disney. And every, literally everyone in the theater, I think, was, like, shrugging when that happened. Like, she hugs this girl that she just met over hugging Chewbacca, who she knew for years and years. Like, it just doesn't make any sense at all. And she could have hugged them both, but Disney wouldn't allow that, you know. So, it's just completely, completely disgraceful. Was she sent off movie. to find Luke? Yeah. Yep, there he is. I hate this movie. Hate it. Why was she sent to find Luke? I don't know. <coughs> this lightsaber fight is so bad, too. Yep, there he is. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. I recognize him from now. <laughs> He's heavily into the politics. Yeah, he's an embarrassment no, to the not. country. He's a complete oh, embarrassment. Oh, she's bringing him the uh, lightsaber? Yeah, he's, she's bringing him his own lightsaber. What, wait, what, wait a minute. Why is it his? Because it's his, Safi, remember? Yeah. She got it from that place with that yellow Yoda character who doesn't matter in the trilogy. Remember? It was in yeah. a trunk. That's he's his lightsaber. He's not going to have any lines? No. Not this movie. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think God, of that stuff? funny to say now. I guess he has to make up for not... Ah, that's it. I'm at the end. Yeah. That make, I guess that makes up for him not saying words in a movie where he was like the original... One of the original originals. <laughs> Unbelievable. What do you think of that, Sophie? You like that? Look how old he was when, isn't that, he, when he was first in the Star Wars movie. Isn't that great? Isn't that so, just so incredible that Disney got the rights to Star Wars and that this is what they did? Well, at least they didn't F up the music. The music is so iconic that, and good. You would, it's stupid to mess with it. I'm, I'm surpri- actually, I'm surprised they didn't mess with it. <coughs> you mean you're surprised that they didn't put rap music when Finn was on screen? <laughs> Oh, that's racist. That'd be really funny. And stupid. Well, they've been doing that nowadays, you know, know, like with Black Panther. And I like it, yeah, and which, and I'm like, uh. They made and this. They end up they, and then the, when they put the original, like original African drumming, which, in probably every country in the, on the continent of Africa, they have their own unique kind of drum and drumming, their, their beat and everything and. But Safi, guess what? Guess what they did with this video Which, game? That would make sense. We mean what they do with the video. They did. They made a new video game for uh, the Assassin's oh. Creed series, where they have this <laughs> this black samurai who never actually was a samurai. Uh, it takes place in Japan, and instead of the main character being a Jap- Japanese samurai, he's a black samurai. And every time that he fights in the game. They t- they put on rap music in the background. What do you think of that, Safi? That's dumb. Did you pay attention to what I just said? Yeah, you said something about new rap music with a no, character that I never didn't. existed. No, I said every time this black samurai is fighting in the video oh. game, they put on rap music in the background. Oh. Isn't that hilarious? <coughs> I can't shut it off. It that's, stop. that's what they think is good now. That's what they think people want okay. nowadays. I get it. Okay, my review is 
Well, well, just say what you thought of the movie, like the the good stuff, the bad stuff. Well, actually, there is no good stuff, uh, but the bad stuff, and then give your food review. Well, I think I know what the food review is. You're gonna probably think it's weird. <coughs> Safi, what do you think? I literally well, just uh, asked you. What do you think? Look at that hugging Princess Leia. She's not gonna hug Chewbacca. It's just fucking bizarre. Are you sure they're not related? Like so she's sickening. the roommate, she's the uh, no. daughter of no. them or something. No. So there's still no origin story for her. She's just magically a yeah, Jedi. Yeah. Basically. Or has Jedi powers. Yeah. And here's poor Chewbacca. That's not even how it works either. And there's R two D two. Safi, I'm 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 I watching. Know, I, I, you I, you I, give your thoughts on the movie now. I was looking at mine, then I look at yours. I'm like, God, they're not even matching. Okay, well, my thoughts are: I think it's odd that you go through half the movie and you don't even know the names of the two. And I have, you know, the robots are characters too. You can't say they're not. I mean, the the thing didn't have any lines. The circle robot BB eight. But you don't even find out its name until the movie's halfway through. And then you have a girl who comes from nowhere. Nobody knows what her origin is. And she's Jedi. Or she has Jedi powers. You find out that it kind of develops oh, my very movie, quickly. My movie paused again. So, and so I'm and just going to turn it off. you don't find out her name either. And she's a main character until the middle or three-fourths way through the movie. Yeah. And her name is Ray. She doesn't have any last name. And I don't think I ever heard any of her background, like her parents, like you, you saw. That's her. because he didn't come up with her background story yet. He basically just, that's what he does is he creates these characters and things without knowing anything about them. See, so, Luke, Luke lived with uh, his aunt and uncle. Yeah. And what happened was then the uh, bad people came and they killed everybody in the campment. Yeah. And he was gone doing some kind of transaction or picking up something. And he came back and everybody was destroyed. And that's what's called a character motivation. <coughs> and what what is Ray's motivation in the movie? Nothing. 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 She just exists. Yeah. She's surviving. That's, that's all you can really say. She's surviving her. She lives on this planet, this like a Sahara desert. She's used to it. In fact, she, remember at the beginning, she wanted to go back. Yeah. Although they're looking for her because she has the droid, I guess. So what else do you think about so the movie, I, and then also, well, that's, I think that would be another complaint was they're missing uh, origin stories for the characters. Like Zach, Kylo Ren, okay, we find out that he's the son of Han Solo and Chewbacca, Princess Leia, <laughs> and he's bad. He's yeah. turned bad. For no reason. We don't hear anything unless I missed it. Did I miss a movie? Did I miss something? No, Safi. The connection. There's no connection. There's no connection at all. Missing con So there's missing connections, missing story origins. Uh, failure to identify t like two main characters. I would say Ray is a main character, and the robot, although it doesn't talk. Now it's true that R two D two doesn't talk either. The C three PO talks, but they don't identify him till that movie's half over. Both of those characters, Ray and and BB eight. I keep having to look at it. I guess I have to think of a BB like a BB gun. <coughs> and uh, and then that they kill off and I remember this happening I heard all about it I didn't even see the movie I think that's why I decided not to see the movie yeah because I didn't want to see in fact Han they, Solo get murdered they did a movie fight <coughs> and in the movie fight somebody accidentally spoiled it uh, and you know they had to keep it in because it was live and I think that's where Safi first heard it. And she was like, what? That's what she did. She was like, what? Well. <laughs> it <I> was <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the very first one, uh, what's his name? The British actor who played. Um, Alec Guinness. Yeah. 
he gets killed. But it yeah. was kind of like, to me, this was an opportunistic thing. That was more like the old, he, like, he actually sacrificed himself. Yeah. He put, the, I remember he put the, see, I can remember this, he put the lightsaber in front of his body and then he was destroyed. But he was preparing. He knew it was going to happen. So he died, and it was kind of like a passing of the torch. This was more like an opportunistic thing, where, I don't know, was it like a plot device to make things interesting, smoother, get rid of the character? He wanted to go, and this is, and this, this is how they made him go, and they could have done it differently. <coughs> Maybe Alex, Alec Guinness wanted to go, too. And, uh... But they made it, it was better. It was just more acceptable. This was just murder. And there wasn't even, the only thing you could explain was that because they didn't give any connection information for Kylo, <coughs> this missing part where he somehow moves to the dark side when his parents are both good people, uh, this was just opportunistic for him to be a murderer like he's insane. Well, here's a good question, Safi. I don't know. It's just some of the things about the storyline, the characters, and it's just when you have this, it makes it it makes it makes a, a less than acceptable movie. Well, here's a good question, though. Do you think it was a good thing, too, that they split up Han Solo and Princess Leia? Why? Because it's an agenda. <coughs> It just doesn't make any sense because, no, it just doesn't make any sense. You would think now, Han Solo originally, he was running around, he was making nefarious deals, he was uh, but then he getting away. He turns good. But then he he turns good because he learns that good is better than what he's been doing. And, and then it's he, more get, secure and he, he gets he gets with Leia, love. and then oh, they're now split apart because why? It's 2014, strong women, independent women. Which, Men can't be with women anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a great lesson to and teach society? Gonna, it's not going to last. Segregation. But it's not going to last. That's the thing. And, <coughs> and even Ray, she does everything she can to save Finn. I mean, he's knocked out. And, in fact, when, when she leaves him to go look for Luke Skywalker to take him back this lightsaber thing, um, he's not awake. He's still passed out. He's in a coma or something. Who knows? And, uh, I mean, she's developed this affinity towards him. Affinity. Oh, boy. That's like a, a what do you call it? <coughs> a word? Uh, you know. It's a, a word. His name is Finn, and Affinity. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I did it and didn't even know I was going to do it. So, I don't know. There's just It's just sad. And it, I guess you could say the movie was lacking these things, but then when you come to this murder, and there's no explanation for that, and you probably say, well, if you watch YouTube, you know, there's a lot of inexplicable murders. You know another it's thing. It's kind of like a trajectory. Another like, thing, though... He, I'm out to get uh, Han Solo. He abandoned me? I mean, he never said that. No. That's what I'm saying. There's no... There's nothing connecting. But another thing, though, is if you think about it, the way that you can tell that Disney is racist and that they have some sort of a problem well, is if you think about it, the main two villains of the movie are... Who, who's the Hitler guy is a redhead guy and the, the Kylo is a Jewish guy so oh. you think about that they made the main villains of a Star Wars movie a Jewish man and a ginger man yeah but I don't think what do you think of that, that yeah, they yeah they are yeah they are yeah they are yeah they are when people try out for their roles marker for these movies they're not well, they either get cast or they don't, and look who they cast, Sophie. That's the point. Okay, and so well, I'm, I that's what I'm saying. There's some nefarious well, thing. Here, well, yeah, there was. There is. They threw George Lucas's scripts in the trash. 
and they did what they wanted well, to no, do. they did that. And they can get fucked. So, Safi, here's a good question. If you had seen this movie in theaters on my birthday... Oh, I don't think I would have. I would have would, been really not happy. Would you have wanted to watch any other Star Wars movie going forward? Probably not. I no. would have been mad. And even now, like, do you want to watch what happens next in this shitty-ass movie series? Not really. No. See, guys? This is what they did. This is what Disney did. They said, uh, fuck you to all the real Star Wars fans... So that, they, so that they could cater to young women uh, who don't give a flying fuck about Star Wars. They're just fucking pansy-ass, fake, bandwagon fan bitches. <laughs> and then another question, Asafi, do you think it was a good idea that George Sellout Lucas gave the rights of Star Wars to Disney? Why you did he? Because he's a fucking sellout, faggoty-ass bitch. That's why. <laughs> You, you think it's have, a good idea? Swear, just say sellout. Period. Well, do you think it was a good idea for him to do that? No, not if they were going to do that. What a sellout! I mean, he ruined his legacy. Like, what's his legacy now? American Graffiti. <laughs> like, I like that movie. Quiet. <laughs> they had dumb little movie from the seventies or whatever. Like, that's his fucking legacy now because Star Wars has been raped to death by Disney. Well, whatever. But I, if, if for a food review, so these are the problems I have with it. Of course, the major thing is the way they killed Han Solo off. Yeah. I mean, if he wanted to leave the series, he wanted to leave. But the way that but they the killed him it, yeah, is bad. Have, they could have done I it a different way. I thought he was going to killed in the fighting, which is very, you know, but like they're fighting. There's all these stray shots going around, and he could get killed. That's what I thought was going to happen. I didn't realize that Kylo Ren killed him. And there's no reason for that either. I think it would have been better. I don't get the reason. Did he say something? I mean, I could have not heard it. No, there was no reason at all. But I think. He said, I've been waiting for this time for a long time. Oh, yeah. Well, I think what would have been better is if Snoke had showed up in person and that Han Solo would sacrifice himself for (coughs) Kylo. And that Snoke would kill him. And then Kylo would just have to go along with it. That would have well, that been a lot better. Been better. And that's really not that big of a twist. In yeah. other words, you thought of that. It's not that complicated. And see, guys, that's how long it takes to fix these things. I just came up with that in, like, one minute. Uh, Disney had, like, all these years to do it, and they, they did shit. Uh, but Safi, remember how I was joking about how they put a rap music song on because there's a black character? Yeah. Well, there is a new show that Disney made called The Acolyte. It was made by this lesbian bitch who can't write. And uh, in one of the episodes, it ends with a rap song. And the main character is black. So it was basically uh, like, oh, we have a black character. We have to put a rap song in it. even that's though stereotyping. That's racial stereotyping. Even though it's Star Wars. You know, there's they put rap music in Star Wars stuff. That's one of the other things they've done now. Uh-huh. So what do you think of that? You like that? Well, dumb. Isn't it great that Disney got the rights to Star Wars, Safi? Uh, why, did, why did George Lucas just keep them? I know. I mean, he he must have gotten rich. What a loser. The series, and he didn't need any more money. I'd say, like, some of the, the biggest fucking overhyped filmmakers of the old ages are Francis Ford Coppola and George Lucas. Like, both of them are completely overrated for what they've done now. Francis Ford Coppola is worse because he made that Dracula movie. Oh. <laughs> and The Godfather 3. Oh. Yeah. But I've seen them all, so. What would you give this in terms of food, Safi? I mean. Well, I think you're going to be shocked. I think I'd just give it jello. Ooh. Because it's empty. What flavor? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> the worst one's yellow, right? I guess yellow jello, yeah. Lemon. That would be great. Yeah. Le- yellow jello. So that's how I would say my movie food review, yellow jello. Instead of saying lemon, I, well, maybe I should say lemon. It's a lemon. So, but I like to say yellow jello. It sounds a lot interesting. Um, because of the problems I listed, 
about the character names and the lack of backstory and connect lack of connections, backstories, character names delayed until the middle or almost three fourths of the way through. And then this killing, if I mean if I think uh, Han Solo wanted to go from what I remember, but the way they did that, I didn't think that was necessary. They could have done that differently because Alec Guinness, if you recall, from the first movie ever made, and I saw it, and I can remember it. it even, I have seen it a few times since then, but I mean, I remember, it was very, I mean, it was like a big sensation for all of us. And uh, it's like historical. Yeah. Lines to see the movie. And look what they did. And, uh, you know, they've really made a mess of things. That's why it's called cultural <laughs> terrorism, is because they took what was a very important and historical thing, and they and they completely destroyed it. And that's what terrorists would do. Uh, so... I don't know about that, but I guess so. I anyway, would say... I'm very, I, just very disappointed and... It's almost shocking them to see how he killed Luke. I thought they were... I mean, I really didn't know he was going to kill him. That's you, what I said. I didn't know any... I hadn't seen the movie before. I had heard that Han Solo got killed. And Marco believes that he knows when I where I heard it. And... Uh, well, you also, in the movie, were talking about how they constantly ripped off A New Hope. What did you think about... I mean, you didn't mention that with your yeah, review. That, that was another thing I forgot to say. Did you like that? There were a couple of instances where I saw they did ex exactly the same thing in the first movie. And it's like they kind of like... You know when they say they copied and pasted? It's like they copied and pasted the same thing using different characters to replace the original characters. And that's so unoriginal. And, and why would they do that? It's so many years ago. Why would they need to do that? Yeah. If they had the creativity, the money. I mean, Marco just thought of an idea of how Han Solo could have died. And it took him a, a few minutes to think about it and to express it. And they have all this money, all this time. And they couldn't think of something better. Yeah. You know, and, and, then to and they have millions of dollars, too. Millions of dollars. And then... Uh, the other thing was the, um, I can't remember what it was. And I'm not even a Star Wars fan. Marco's not a Star Wars fan. It, and I came up with a better idea. Like, that's pretty embarrassing. Like, because <laughs> it shows, like, it doesn't take being a fan to write a good story and to know, like, that you shouldn't split up uh, Han Solo and Leia. You shouldn't turn Han Solo into a loser. Uh... You shouldn't have Leia hug Ch uh, Leia hug Ray. You shouldn't make Ray a character at all. <coughs> it doesn't take someone who's a fan of the old series to to figure that out. Uh, I wonder if George Lucas got mad because well, he got mad because people criticized the prequels. But I would like to say, you know, I never really criticized the prequels. I enjoyed <coughs> the first one, kind of. I enjoyed the third one, kind of. I saw it in theaters, although I will say, you know, I'm not a Star Wars fan. When I saw the third one in theaters, I fell asleep in the movie. Uh, but I, did? I did still like it, and I did. we did buy it, and I watched it sometimes, but like... Is that where Luke wears a gray or a dark... Like, no, Safi, it the prequel, where Anakin oh, finally okay. becomes Darth Vader. Yeah. I fell asleep watching that in theaters... <laughs> I, in fact, I'm pretty sure I fell asleep watching every single Star Wars movie because it's just well, not my type of I'm thing. Wondering, I'm just wondering <laughs> the reason why George Lucas gave it up because he was mad or insulted or something because... Uh, well, I would be he, more he had, insulted. He had a, re he had a reason, I would, he said, but his real reason. Well, wouldn't you be more insulted with what <laughs> Disney has done to Star Wars, though? Yeah, I like, would be. Like, how they threw his scripts in the trash? I mean, they literally did that, Safi. Like, he gave them the sequel scripts for what could have been the new movies, and uh, the bitch who's in charge, Kathleen Kennedy, she threw it in the trash. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to think. There were two instances in these movies that followed the original three 
There was the Jar Jar Banks character, which everybody didn't like at all. Oh, he sucked. And so, and so that was heavily criticized. But he was like a kids movie character too. Like, there it's was something else. The prequels. The prequels were aimed towards children, basically, and I think that's why a lot of people didn't like it, and uh, and that's why I didn't mind it so much, because I was a kid when I saw them, but still, they were bad. I mean, I'm uh... Wondering, what was the other thing that I think you might have gotten mad about? I'll have to think about, maybe I'll have to come back again. But this week, maybe, which I don't get, but we should be doing two MasterChef episodes. Maybe I, maybe I could, after we watch it, we do the review, which will be the next day because it's going to be from 8 to 10, which is awful. But um, maybe I can mention I just thought of it and I can't remember. But I know that I remember people were mad about the Jar Jar Banks. They made a lot of fun of it. Well, why they wouldn't like they? The why wouldn't of, they? I know. Well, I just... It was a I stupid just, character. It was dumb. But there, but there was something else that people were really up, upset. Uh, that's something that's happened is basically nowadays there's this, like, feeling uh, around that, like, you're not allowed to criticize things. And if you criticize things, you're a toxic fan, you're a toxic this, you're a toxic that. And instead of that, it's like, why don't they just admit that there's mistakes and then they make a better movie? Like, like it's really not that complicated, but I would like to give my food review. Okay, go ahead. So when, we, when I first saw this terrible movie, uh, I remember that we had chili for dinner. Uh, Safi? Chili, like from a few days ago? Or? No, we had chili when I originally saw the movie. Years ago. So. Years ago. And, okay, so. and we just had chili again for some reason in the summertime. And we didn't uh, want to, but... The first night that we had it, it was terrible. It was so under-seasoned, it literally didn't taste like anything. And it was so, like, packed with crap. It was terrible. It's the worst chili that I've ever had in the history of chili. <laughs> and it felt like that's what this movie was. It's like they were given the recipe to chili. And, you know, they could have easily made a good chili. And instead, they made this giant bloated piece of crap, bull of crap, and uh, it was terrible. And this movie, it's a disgrace. The people who made it, they should all be put in jail. Uh, the the wanker girl now has Graves disease, which what? is which is probably karma, which is probably karma for making this bad movie. And that's just that's what happens. Like you 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 do this, you commit cultural terrorism. And you get payback. Uh, you, there's consequences. Yeah, but they gave her the lines to say she didn't make them up. That doesn't matter, Safi. I mean, at some point, there's got to be accountability. Mm -hmm. And at some point, I mean, she let them do this for three fucking movies. Oh, if yeah. I if I was in one movie in this trilogy, I would have fucking quit immediately. Well, she probably wanted the money. I would have said, "Fuck you." It. It, yeah, she's she's a bad actress. The other movies that she's been in are failures. Uh, and so now they're making another Star Wars movie with her that no one wants. And it's too bad because, like, if she had just put in hard work and been in movies and, like, built up her career, then she could have been a good actress. But instead, she's always going to be known as the Star Wars actress in those bad Star Wars movies. And, uh, right. yeah. yeah. Like, she was in that Murder in the Orient Express remake... Oh, yeah. She was in this movie with Tom Holland called Chaos Walking <laughs> or something. It's just really weird, bad-looking corporate sludge product movies that nobody cares about. And uh, just like this movie. Yeah. So, Safi, are there any last things to say about Star Wars The Force Awakens? Which, yeah. The Force literally never awakens in this movie. Uh, that literally never happens. It's a complete false advertising title. So, Zappy? So, anyway, the next, unless Marco has something that he's planning on doing, the next reviews I'm going to be participating in are this overload of MasterChef because they're having to make up for all the weeks that they haven't shown them, which has been really, I think, about a month, and which is really 
one of them, one of the weeks that they didn't have was inexcusable mm -hmm. because it was the day before. I guess that was July 4th. Yeah, it was literally, or I think one of the weeks it was literally because the stupid president gave a speech for like 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, but they, they, and, and, and for some reason they couldn't play the show because there was a 15 minute delay. <coughs> But then they still played another Gordon Ramsay show after yeah, they that. Played the one that comes after. I don't even know the name. Of for like two hours or something. So yeah. they just, it's like they don't even care about MasterChef anymore. And it just shows. It's fucking embarrassing. So, Sapi? Um, so, anyway, so that'll be the next one that I'll be participating in. Yeah. It'll be, they're, doing, they're, they're going to start doing two shows a week. And it becomes really, it's a lot harder, more challenging. A lot to more watch stressful. Two shows. To remember. Back to back. And to remember, like, oh, this happened in that episode, but not take, that episode. I have to take lots of notes. Yeah. And uh, anyway. It's not enjoyable either. No, it isn't. Because, <laughs> you know, I would have loved to have watched Star Wars all these weeks. Star Wars. Star Wars. I would have loved to have watched Master <laughs> Chef. Uh, yeah. This latest season. I know. These past weeks, at least twice. Yeah. And no. They're like, no, you're not allowed to because other things are happening that no one cares about. So. And so well, that's not true. But still, yeah, it is. They could have it's true. This one time, except especially when it was the day before the holiday, and it's a holiday where it's not like Christmas or Thanksgiving. The people are watching TV. It's hot and boiling and miserable out and you want to be inside and so uh and there, there were rains so i mean some people even couldn't do their fireworks on fourth of july or even the day before because it was raining so uh and not everywhere i know but still i don't know why they did that just kind of it's irritating but anyway uh, so that's when you'll hear from me and if marco decides to do something uh, you'll hear from him. So anyway, if you want us to be subscribed to this channel, uh, you're more than welcome. And if you want to just like the video, if you want to make a comment about it, whatever, uh, go ahead. You're welcome to do it. So we appreciate it. So goodbye, everybody. Bye.